Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the John Rand School. We are so excited today to know that we've got a great new group of students coming to us in September. And although we know it's a long time, it's six months until September, we want to make sure that we use this time really well to get to know you and, of course, for you to get to know us. Tonight, you're going to meet some people who are going to be really important to you, certainly over the next year. And we just want to go through a few things for you so that you know what to expect over the next six months. In particular, although we're going to tell you lots of things, some of you or your parents may have some questions you want to ask, you, ask us. So what I'm going to do is just explain how that works. There's a, there's, a, there's a chat function that you can use. So please type in the questions that you want to ask. You won't see those questions come up necessarily that other people are asking. I will see them. And so during the presentation, I'll be looking at those questions. And then at the end, what I'll be doing is asking Mr. Garvey and Mr. Duncan if they can answer some of those questions for you. So right at the end of this assembly, there will be a question and answer slot for you. OK, so we really are very excited to have you. And I am now going to pass you on to Mr. Garvey. Thank you very much, Ms. Smith, and thank you to all of our parents and to our new students for joining us this evening. We're really, really excited to welcome you into our school community. Um, we feel very passionately about our pride values, and uh, that's the expectation for all of our students that, that we, we demonstrate pride every day when we come to school, and we, we expect um, that we demonstrate our pride values ourselves as staff um, every single day, and, and we'll be talking more and more to the students and to our parents about uh, our values. But you will be valued uh, as new members of our school community, and I look forward to speaking to you all more and more as we prepare for um, for the start in September, um, for, for the start of a uh, quite exciting new experience in secondary school. Uh, so as, as Ms. Smith said there, my name is Mr. Garvey. My responsibility really is to support a very smooth transition for students from the primary phase into the secondary phase. There's lots of ways in which we will support you and communicate with you. Okay, um, we, we're a really positive school. We believe in a positive behaviour management and we award pride points to our students every day, every week. Uh, we monitor the awarding of these pride points and we really look to celebrate the success that our students have uh, in terms of their learning academically in the classroom, of course, but also in terms of those values that I referred to a moment ago, because we want to see our students demonstrating those values in and around the school, in the corridors, in the canteen and outside of our school, um, as students represent us as a community. Uh, so like I said a moment ago, you'll learn more and more about our pride values and I'm really looking forward to, to communicating with parents in the future about um, certificates of achievement and, and uh, in regards to, to the points system. Um, and, you know, uh, there, there needs to be a reward for students that are demonstrating brilliant pride values and I just wanted to introduce some of the ways in which that we, we reward students. Um, there's some images here on this slide of the golden ticket uh, events are very, very popular amongst our students. So students that receive lots and lots of pride points in a week will receive a, a golden ticket. And that ticket will be a special trip or a special event to, to enrich the students kind of experience and to reward them um, for, for demonstrating such good uh, skills throughout that week. Uh, and um, these are quite highly sought after uh, tickets to win. Okay. We have jump to the front passes to students that are um, again attending school brilliantly, um, performing brilliantly in lessons, have this um, incentive to kind of skip the queue uh, in the canteen, which is very, very popular amongst the students. Uh, we have party celebrations and, and um, prizes and awards that are given out to students that do, do the right thing and work really hard and push themselves to be successful and to make and lots of progress and that's really important to us actually 
because we, we want to create that culture in this school where students are asking questions of themselves and, and uh, students are really motivated to, to push themselves uh, beyond the expectations that, that, that they have for themselves and also we want our children to know that we, we monitor their progress very very closely and that we really really care about their progress and when students perform brilliantly of course they should be and we believe in enrichment. Um, I, I would regard enrichment as an entitlement. I, I think it's extremely important that young people have the opportunity to develop and grow in a range of areas. And there's some images here that you can see of students enjoying their music lesson and literature and sports. Uh, we have quite broad um, curriculum in terms of PE and lots of clubs that are operating. Uh, all of our clubs are free of charge. And we have lots of really, really good partnerships in the community as well. Uh, we work quite closely with the Charlton Athletic Community Trust, and um, I'll be communicating with you all uh, more uh, before our September start because I'm hoping that we can uh, put on some sort of um, taste of the sessions and weeks, etc., just to, lead, to support the, the, uh, the transition process. And we often do work in collaboration with the Charlton Athletic Community Trust in that area. Uh, we have a link with uh, the Greenwich Titans, a basketball program, and we're really passionate about making a contribution um, locally and, and nationally to charitable organisations. We're really proud actually um, to raise just under £3,000 for the Donald Math Foundation uh, just before Christmas, which is a fantastic charity that uh, supports um, children in disadvantaged um, areas of the world to access education that otherwise would not be able to do so. So that's really, really powerful work that our children engage in and um, it's quite useful for us, of course, to then be able to, to show the children the impact of, of that contribution. Um, and we know that our, our students are very passionate about, about making that impact and helping other people, which is brilliant. Um, we want our students to, to um, engage in debating we want our students to help our local community and uh, we have some really good outreach work that goes on down there at my Sydney house um, and we have lots of different initiatives in, in all departments but our librarians are particularly uh, proactive in terms of getting out in the community and helping with various initiatives so um, yeah I'm really really proud to work in a school that has an outdoor activity centre I think there must be very few if any other schools to sort of have the quality of provision that we have based in the Lake District. So we have um, a centre in Braithwaite where our students are very, very fortunate in the summer term to go to, to experience a range of activities such as things like gill scrambling and rock climbing and hiking. And we really value the impact of being in outdoors can have on young people. Uh, we want our students to develop a character. We feel very passionately about that as a school and we know that outdoor adventurous activities are not only very popular amongst young people but they're brilliant for developing confidence in teamwork and skills and to support, to support children in developing self-esteem etc. Okay so um, we're quite excited about the, the prospect of sending some of our new students to Braithwaite um, in just over a year's time. Okay. Um, I also wanted just to communicate that we look forward to our students having a voice. Again, we're a school that thinks that's incredibly important. It's really important that we've got a vibrant, active um, student community that feel that we listen to their, their opinions, that they, they have a, a say type of school that they're a part of and that, that they are able to, to shape uh, the provision that they receive to some extent and uh, we have a school council that is, is very representative of our school community actually and that do have a strong voice uh, we have a, a magazine which has recently won awards in fact um, for being so brilliantly edited and produced um, and as you can see there from a couple of quality of this publication is, is, is absolutely superb and uh, yeah again we, we just recognise that students that have these opportunities to grow and develop um, do thrive uh, and we think it's incredibly important. 
I wanted to just identify that we will have a range of um, events and activities as we build up to um, the, the process of starting in September. And these are really designed to, to ease the uh, issues into to our sort of school community, to, to support our parents in terms of being confident and secure um, in, in the, the provision that we offer and, and the parents and students know who, who some of the key staff are that they, they're about to meet. Uh, when, when September comes around. Um, so today is the first day here that you can see on the, the slide and that's our virtual assembly where we're really aiming to introduce ourselves and to welcome you into our school community. And um, what's quite exciting is that we'll be offering friendship afternoons whereby uh, students can come together in a very informal way actually and meet and communicate and, um, and, and we find that that's quite helpful because students will know quite a few students by the time September comes and that will again support that transition process. Uh, we will be in communication with you in regards to one of these days but the admissions meeting um, will obviously be very very important in terms of getting the administration in place and making sure that we've got all the paperwork um, ready for, for again a smooth start and what we do enjoy doing is briefing and meeting parents um, in July so the date we've assigned there is Tuesday the 5th of July where we'll have a parent information meeting. and again that's for us to share information about the September start, um, provide parents with information about the school. We know that parents will have lots and lots of questions and I know that there's an opportunity tonight to, to start asking some of those questions of course but um, yeah we would be more than happy to answer questions and spend lots and lots of time with our parents um, again to support that transition process. And then on uh, Wednesday 6th of July we have a day that we've named a day in the life and this is a full day in school for our new students uh, where they will walk around the building engaging a range of hopefully very engaging lessons and, and entertaining lessons and meet lots of uh, teachers in the school and, and have that opportunity to really familiarise themselves. Okay so that's um, a few of the, the events and the ways in which we'll be communicating with you but I will point out that a lot of our information is saved and filed on our website so you go through the John Rowan School website and then you click on the admissions tab and then the primary to secondary transition tab and there you find some videos, um, some information and a lot of your um, questions will be answered. And we're also quite active on social media, so we're on Twitter, um, on Instagram, on Facebook, and um, yeah, we've got uh, quite, as I mentioned earlier, on quite an active uh, group of students and staff that really are very passionately, quite rightly so, uh, about literature, and, and they, they tweet quite a lot about um, what we do around the library too. So yeah, if you would like to, to follow us on social media, that would be great, and um, hopefully you'll see lots of quite interesting and engaging things that our, our current students are up to. So that was a, a little bit of a brief introduction from myself. Um, as I mentioned just a moment ago, we will be in communication with you in regards to these transition events. So do watch out for emails from, from us. And um, if you have any questions um, at any time, please contact me. My name is Mr. Garvey. Uh, you can contact me through the school telephone number or directly via email. And, um, very happy to, to answer any questions that you may have. Okay, um, I now have the privilege of introducing you to um, Mr. Duncan, who's the current head of Year 11, but he, he will be dropping down to being the head of Year 7 next year, which um, I know he's very excited about doing. Um, so without any uh, delay, I'll introduce you to Mr. Duncan so that he can introduce himself. Thank you. Thank you very much, there, Mr. Garvey. Um, yes, yeah, good afternoon, ladies and gents. Um, really good to meet all of you. So, um, I'm really, really excited, to obviously, to meet you in, in person. Um, I've heard a, a lot of good news about all of you guys. And um, if you remember um, a few months back when it was our open day, um, in, you know, in the in, in the winter months, I was up in a sports hall and I was really trying my best, obviously, to try and meet everyone, have a conversation with everyone. Obviously, you could see all of the um, the various facilities that we had on offer on that day there. 
So I'm really I'm looking forward to meeting everyone. I'm, I'm really excited about obviously the upcoming events in the next few months, especially when we do meet each other and especially when we do have a day in a laugh and a John Rome so we can see what it's all about. Um, and another little thing that I would obviously like to um, uh, bring your attention to is a little sticker that I'm wearing at the moment now. Um, you should have all had a little sticker that's been sent to you in a post that's basically saying we're now a John Roney, all right? So that's now official. Um, what would be lovely, ladies and gents, if we could take a little picture, a little selfie, and if we can then put it onto our, our Twitter page, our Facebook page, and that way we can really sort of start to gather a bit of momentum and get a little bit of excitement going about, you know, joining, you know, the best school in Greenwich, to be honest with you. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I'll be kicking it all off, to be honest with you. I'm going to try and jump right in. I'm going to take a little selfie just after, and as you can see, the wall of the wall of fame just behind me. Um, these are students that I'm really quite proud about. Um, they're students that have come to our school, if I just scoop to one side, um, and have actually become um, full-time professional footballers. All right, so I'm really, really proud of this school. Um, there's many more students that have also now become professional footballers. So not only do we really want to uh, make sure you do really well in your exams and obviously all of your attainment and all of your lessons, but it's also a bit of an opportunity just to remind yourself, as Mr. Garvey said, we've got a host of different extracurricular activities. And there is the opportunity, ladies and gents, that we may become you know, a professional one day. So it's always nice to have a little dream in our mind and it's always nice to see that dream is just behind us. And it's always important to have a dream but also keep our feet on the ground and obviously feet on the ground in school doing the best as we possibly can. So I really do look forward to seeing all of you guys. Um, I've obviously got my email addresses on the slide there as well. So if there is any other questions, you know, especially after our, our assembly today, if you oh, forgot to ask this question, by all means, you know, you can always contact us through, um, through that email address there. Um, please be careful because my name is only spoke with the one C, so just be careful you don't make a typo on that. But yeah, and other than that, though, ladies and gents, I'm, I'm really am looking forward to meeting all of you. Um, we've got many facilities we've got going on. It'd be great, obviously, to introduce you to um, your form tutors because obviously I'll be your head of year. So I'll be looking after your attendance, um, I'll be looking after your attainment. Be looking after your extracurricular activities and like Mr Garvey said one of my favourite places in the world is the Braithwaite Centre up in the Lake District. Now there's you know as Mr Garvey said I've, I'm fortunate I work in a school because without the opportunity at this school I'm not too sure if I would have had the opportunity to go to Braithwaite and that is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to in my life. It's the, the facilities we've got there, the experiences we can share up there is is truly remarkable and it's a priceless memory even the students that have left us they often always speak about brave fight and not only just brave fight because obviously that's just in the summertime so you know once we're in year seven we're looking to go to brave fight around the may and the june times but obviously as mr Garth said we've got many extracurricular activities that'll be going ahead um, i'm a massive fan of two group sports so once you're inside of your tutor groups, we'll then be arranging a, a host of different activities, whether it might be dodgeball, whether it might be basketball, whether it might be football, and other, any other multiples, even capture the flag. Right? I'm not too sure if you're aware of capture the flag, but again, an amazing game because I am a PE teacher, so one of my philosophies is if you've got a, a healthy body, then you've got a healthy mind. All right? So it's really, really important that we keep active, we look after ourselves, because then if we look after ourselves, everything looks after itself after that. Thing, so, all right? so, as you can probably tell, I'm really, really excited to meet all of you guys. It'd be great to see you. Because at the minute I've got my year 11s and I'm so proud of my Eagles. I hope you, you understand the little reference I mean about the Eagles. So the Eagles are about to fly the nest and we're soon going to have our new little Eagles. It's going to be doing this in year seven. Soon to be taking off in a few years time there as well, ladies and gentlemen. So really can't wait. Really am excited. And roll on the summer time when we can all meet each other. Thank you very much, Mr. Duncan. Um, I'm going to hand back to Miss Smith now, and we are hopeful that we will have had a few questions that have come through um, via the chat uh, function. Uh, again, if there are parents who would like to post questions, you're very welcome to do so now, and we'll do our very best to try and answer some of those. So I'm just going to hand it over back to Miss Smith. Yeah, so so thank you, and and I'm gonna gonna roll on from the the Braithwaite enthusiasm of Mr. Duncan, and just um, note that well, I've got a few questions about Braithwaite. So, when what what year group goes to Braithwaite? That looks really exciting. Do we have to do it? What goes on at them? So let's just let's just unpack for a few minutes. I know that your enthusiasm could take us um, for weeks on on Braithwaite, Mr. Duncan, but. But just talk us through some of the things that people do and remember that 
it's not all about sport. There are other things that go on as well, aren't there? So you're very right, Mr. Smith. So we do have many opportunities, many um, uh, unbelievable opportunities that take place as, uh, as we've got the debate mate and um, our students have done really, really well in the debate mate competition. So that's a really good way of then um, developing your oral, uh, your oral skills and your literacy skills. So that'll be an amazing opportunity and many of our students really do look, um, look forward to those opportunities there. We also have um, opportunities for a little bit of um, uh, bake-off competitions there as well with the food technology department. So if you're a little bit of a keen baker, we can always get a little bit of an opportunity like that there involved. Uh, we've, uh, we've got the Mycenae House, so we've got the opportunities where we can go along to support other residents who are then living in the, in the Mycenae House and you know, staying there. And actually, we've also got all the other interventions, including obviously the Hegarty Maths competition. So our maths department really um, drive forward with our Sparks and our Hegarty. So that's an online platform where you can really sort of hone in all of your mathematics skills. It's naturally that's one of the key um, skills we do need you know, in life, obviously, for our lessons. And our lessons are jam-packed, there's going to be so much excitement. We've got unbelievable facilities, including our science departments. We've got unbelievable science labs, so we can have fantastic experiments, live demonstrations, practical experiments going through your, um, through your science lessons there. And we've just got a whole host of different opportunities that you guys can get yourself involved in. So it's not always about sport, not at all. It's not always about breakthrough. There's many opportunities that you've been doing all the way throughout the year, and it will start straight away from September. And we've got an amazing music department. So if anyone is interested or has ever thought about maybe picking up a musical instrument, maybe the drums, the piano, or even a little bit of singing, you've got the opportunity to get yourself involved in our Perry lessons. So you'd have a 20 minute lesson where you'd essentially come out of one of your other lessons. It'll always be different lessons each week, so it's not always the same lesson that gets impacted. And that way you can then start to hone in on any musical talents or, or begin any musical talents you might be wishing for. So we've got many opportunities. And I'm sure if there's any questions about anything, if, if we haven't mentioned anything, and I'm definitely sure we could always arrange something or maybe it's something I've uh, you know, forgotten to mention. So please do let us know. We've got many things going on. It's definitely not just a sports college or a sports school. We are highly academic. We want to do really, really well. In terms of our academic levels, our year 11s have jumped huge levels from where we were in year 10 to where we are now. So our, everything is looking absolutely amazing. And it's in a perfect position for when us, when we then start in year seven, in September, so I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you. And um, just to confirm, the heads of year in years seven, eight, nine, and ten each year take a group of students up to Braithwaite. We've booked it this year for four weeks in June, and um, those heads of year will be taking their groups up. And it, it sleeps about 26 at a time, I think, in a squeeze. So um, there's an opportunity to go to, to Braithwaite every year. Um, Mr. Garvey, this is possibly one for you, really. There's, a, there's, there's been a question here about how much homework do you get to do in year seven? Well, it's, we're actually, as a senior leadership team, we're actually reviewing our homework policy at the moment. Um, the expectation is that every line manager of every subject is monitoring with quite a rigor, actually, the quality and the quantity of homework, because we know that if there's too much homework, say, that creates quite stress and anxiety understandable so for children and parents and we also recognize that of, of course if there's not enough um, homework being set then we're missing opportunities to really accelerate accelerate progress and, and challenge our students so that there's a balance that we struck um, our student the feedback from our students at the moment is that they feel uh, it's appropriate but it's quite challenging and the students can expect to receive one piece of homework a week subject um, but what we do and I did uh, I think it's important to, to mention this is we do have very clear expectations in terms of routines for, for young people in school because we think that routines are um, really important in terms of being successful and one of our routines is of course that we simply have a lot of time and you know, we don't really um, we try not to kind of, um, we try and present a very clear message and, and, and messages of extremely high expectations when it comes to homework submission. However, I do want to caveat that by saying when students are in year seven, particularly in term one, we're extremely supportive. 
and Mr. Duncan uh, referenced uh, Sparks as a platform and Hecate Maths as a platform there for mathematics work. Uh, my experience this year, as someone who's leading on transition, is that a lot of our children find it a little bit overwhelming at the beginning, uh, receiving a higher uh, quantity of homework and particularly on lots of different platforms. So what we do to support and advocate for the students is we, we show like quite a lot of leniency in the first term. And we also run lots and lots of sort of booster uh, withdrawal sessions because the data will reveal to us which students are not submitting the homework quite quickly. And then we'll be able to identify if that's um, due to technical issues or due to resources. If it's due to resources, and this is particularly pertinent around the, the question around homework, if it's due to accessing resources, because so much of our homework is set online these days, then what we do invite our parents to do is to ask us for um, the loan of a Chromebook. And we're really proud that we can offer, we, we offer a, a very high quantity of Chromebooks now to, to our students and to our families. So to those people who really need to reduce that digital divide, uh, we can support that process. Absolutely. So yeah, uh, we, we, we're consulting at the moment in terms of um, our policy on, on key stage three homework because we think we could be a little bit clearer on it, but uh, student voice is positive and the monitoring that goes on suggests that there's challenge there but um, at, at an appropriate level. Thank you. So, so really, I would suggest that people think about spending about an hour a day on homework when they're in year seven, eight and nine. Now, some days that might be a little bit more and other days it might be a little bit less. Um, but that's roughly the amount that I, I think you would be spending on, on homework there. Um, I've had I've had a number of other questions that I'm going to answer quite quickly, I think, because they're quite quick ones. Are we allowed phones in school? Yes, anyone can bring a phone, but if we see it or hear it, it will be confiscated. We appreciate that that some young people like to have their phones with them for the journey to and from school, but they're not allowed to be on site at all if we can see or hear them. So what we ask is, is get a zippy pocket inside your bag or inside your blazer so that you can tuck that away and, and keep it for the way to and from school. Now, somebody else has asked about our start and finish times. We start at 8.30 on the dot, which means we ask people to be in school at 20 past eight so that they're ready to line up and be ready to get into school from 25 past eight. And we're very strict about that because we want a sharp start to our learning and we finish at 10 past three, although the school then remains open for homework clubs and other activities. So, so often youngsters won't be leaving until a little bit later, but you will know about that once you get to know your child's schedule. And do we wear blazers or jumpers? Well, actually we wear both. Blazers are compulsory and the jumper is uh, an optional part of our school uniform. And just to confirm, yes, everybody has the entitlement to learn one musical instrument for free, paid for by the foundation, um, whilst they're a student at the school and whilst we've got enough spaces. And we normally have about 200 to 250 students learning musical instruments during the year. And do we use Google Classroom? No, we use Microsoft Teams, which is what we're using today. It's pretty well the same as Google Classroom. Um, Mr. Duncan, we've been asked whether we do girls football, whether we have a rugby team, whether we're going to do any kayaking in our PE lessons. Lots of questions about that. Can you give me 30 seconds on it? Right, Simon. So um, kayaking, love the idea about kayaking. Um, that's a really interesting option. We do sometimes offer it for our GCSE PE students when we get into year 10 and year 11. Um, but kayaking will mainly be sort of um, safe in regards to, to brave weight. Girls football, 100%, you know, it's 100%, there will be a girls football team. And we do also have a, a really competitive um, school rugby team there as well. Mr. Somi's, um takes a good lead on the, the rugby aspects. So yes, there will be a girls football team. There is opportun opportunity to do kayaking in Thamesmead. And yes, we also do um, um, a girls football team. So yes, yes, yes. 
And um, we do so many other things as well, don't we? Um, somebody's just asked to carry on on the on the blazers. Do we have to wear our blazers all day? You have to wear them when you're walking around the school and when you go into the classroom, you can ask the teacher if you can take them off and that's always OK. Um, so, yes. And there was another question about when will we find out who our tutor will be? Mr Garvey, we're planning on doing that when they come into school in July, I think, aren't we? That's right. The aim is um, on that taste today that we can introduce the children to, to their key um, to the key staff that they need to know. And absolutely, the tutor is someone that the children will meet every day. So that's the plan. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to run down a load of questions quite quickly. But what I will do, parents, is um, work with Mr Garvey on putting a sort of frequently asked questions document together, which we will update on the website quite frequently, trying to sort of incorporate some of these these questions. So you heard that we can lend out Chromebooks. So if you haven't got your own personal laptop, you can borrow a school Chromebook. And absolutely that is for taking home because that's where you're going to need it most to do your Sparks homework or to do your Seneca homework and everything. Um, for year seven at the moment, we do not have enough lockers to give every person in year seven a locker. That's something that goes to the older students. So we do try and think quite carefully about what we ask someone to carry in their bags. Um, most students don't need to carry around heavy textbooks. They will need their books for the day, but on the whole, you're never going to get more than three or four lessons in a day, so it shouldn't be a huge amount. That said, I picked up a year seven student's bag today and almost broke my back. It was so heavy and it looked like they had put in there every single thing they could ever possibly want. So I would ask you to think quite carefully about um, about what you put into your bags. Um, there's, I'm just trying to scan down. We feed back to parents on pupil progress twice a week, uh, tw uh, twice a week, honestly we don't, twice a year um, with data from our mid-year assessments and our end of year assessments. Um, but we have a very open exchange um, policy in terms of parents wanting to find out information more casually as, as the year goes on. You will find out about Pride Points. You'll get an app which gets you into our, our system where we record Pride Points and things like that. So you will see how well they're doing in that respect. If you don't have your uniform on the first few days, of course, we will have a little chat with you about that. But um, we know that sometimes the uniform suppliers don't quite get everything in at the right time. So we are we are sympathetic to that, of course. There will be 210 children in year seven next year, so there will be seven classes. Um, and we will let you know all about that much nearer the time in July when you come in. Um, there are many questions that quite often overlap all of this information in here. Um, so as I said, we'll put a frequently asked questions section onto the website so that we can do that. You do need to bring your own pens and pencils and Mr Duncan will talk to you about all of that when you come up in July. We'll send you plenty of information home about what we expect. Um, and we ask you to keep in touch with us and to keep asking us questions. And Mr Duncan's already given you his email address where you can directly do that. So I'm going to pass the final word over to Mr Duncan, I think, your main person for um, year 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So your main person for five years. Mr Duncan, perhaps you'd like to finish the evening with some final words. Thanks very much, Ms. Smith. So, yeah, as, as Ms. Smith just said, it's going to be an absolute pleasure to be on the journey with you over the next five years. We'll be together, we'll share the same journey together, we'll start in year seven and we'll finish year 11 together. And that's one of the things that I enjoy the most is the fact that we can share our, our memories, our experiences, our laughter all the way throughout the years. We can remind ourselves of how far we've come together as a team. So, I really do look forward to it. And just one little thing I also wanted to mention there as well, I'm sure you're already a bit more aware, but we're also going to be our purple. So I've got a little purple lanyard just here. 
we, our colour will be our purple. I'm really proud of our purple colour. All right, it looks a little bit more like blue on the camera, but it is purple. So when you then come to collect your uniforms from the uniform shop, if you can make sure that it is a purple side. Um, there was a little bit of history that goes with that. We're part of the Darwin House. So I really look forward to speaking to you a little bit more about it on when we've come through in, in, in July. But yeah, I really look forward to seeing all of you guys. Um, and yeah, roll on July, roll on July. And obviously, if there's any questions we can do in the interim, um, we've got our email addresses, we've got our contact details. Please don't forget about the, the selfie sticker as well over the weekend, ladies and gentlemen. So thanks for your time for this evening, and we can't wait to see you all in person. Thanks, Mr.